What's up? Raw from Dirty coming at you live. Finally got my boiler exhaust, part number 11903. 903 attack exhaust. C7 Corvette, mine is Z06 automatic. So I just wanted to unbox it. Let's see what we got here. Okay, got my over axle pipes. Over axle pipe, left side. Really box good. I'm seeing the damage this time, but I guess the damage box is pretty good. Over axle pipe, right side, so you don't get them mixed up. You good to get it. All right. Tack, left side. I don't know if I like them damn tips though, but we'll see. That boiler attack, boiler attack, baby. Left side. Shit, look like a quality product. You know, boiler. Industry leader in the exhaust. Now we should have the right side. Yes, sir. Stay tuned, baby. The directions call for me to take this rear diffuser off. License plate, rear deflectors. Take all that off in order to have easy access to the whole uh, rear exhaust. So, let me get my tools and all that together. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys. Here, uh, hope you can see. But uh, directions called for me to remove this rear diffuser. I have a diffuser, some people call it a valence. I have a diffuser, all fiberglass, whatever. Uh, <clears throat> but in order to get this diffuser off, from my view, you got five, seven millimeter bolts here. Of course, on the opposite side, you got two. Uh, 10 millimeter bolts behind the rear deflector on each side. Of course, I need to move my license plate, and then there'll be uh, two more bolts. Then I got two 10 millimeter bolts above the exhaust tips that need to be removed. Uh, and then once I get that off, I'll, I'll expose all of that rear muffler. I can get all that out, pull it out from the back, make the uh, removal and install that much easier. So let's get to it. Left and loose it right tight, motherfuckers. So whatever your whatever both sides your you use to hold your license plate on, uh, it's different. But I use the Allen, so there you go. Period. So also when I go remove these deflectors on, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to fucking scratch shit. So I usually try to put a little tape. In order to get my little pry tools behind it, you know, to try to snap these out. Because I try not to make more work for myself by fucking shit up. So a little 
little tape as an extra safety precaution. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't, I ain't trying to have this motherfucker corrected paint wise and shit. Ain't got time for that. Damn, yeah, look, I gotta do all this shit to take this fuck off. But let's tear my shit up. Anyway, let's get to it. You're gonna get a long extension to get down in for these, these two 10 millimeters above your exhaust tip. So I believe this is a, uh, maybe a 10 inch, 12 inch extension. So, but you're gonna need a long extension in order to get them two bolts because your exhaust tips stick out kind of fast. Remember, lefty, loosey, righty, tight, motherfuckers. My son always forget that, be fucking up. And I just like, easy little saying, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. All the perspiration, everybody. It's hot in the motherfucker. I'm in Texas, goddamn, and it's hot out in this motherfucking garage. So, but if you want to do some shit, sometimes you gotta sweat a little bit. So excuse me, sweating, but it's hot. It's hot. There's two 10 millimeter bolts. Two 10 millimeter bolts from right behind your license plate. That's why you gotta take the license plate off. Now this is the tricky part, getting these motherfucking deflectors off without scratching up your shit. So I got these little plastic pry tubes and there's an extra precaution. I put a little tape there because I ain't trying to chip chip down at the paint. So, see if I get these off. Hey! <laughs> Make sure you mark these, because these do go over a certain way, but you don't really have to mark them, because mine, if you look on the back of your left hand, Left hand and right hand. So, that side came off pretty easily. Set them out the way so they don't get fucked up. But you got two tens here, and then should be another two ten on the right side. So, put a little tape over there so I'm gonna try to scratch shit up. Get your plastic pry tube. You know what I'm saying? You should be able to get them out without fucking up your paint. Y'all like my, my bucket? Two teams. Uh, yeah. Yeah, look at your boy. 
But now it's time for me to remove the tongue of stiffening brace. Uh, that should be 15 millimeter bolts and some 13 millimeter bolts. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I just need to see it. But uh, yeah, that stiffening brace right, uh, right there. Got to remove that so I can get to that mid pipe. So I can remove all of that and uh, get that mid pipe out and then I'll start working on the, remove the muffler. So stay tuned. All right guys, so taking off this uh, tunnel strengthening plate. Uh, it's a lot of bolts, but uh, they are 13, so Let's get to it. You got two here that's slotted to help you hold it up. So I will just loosen these. You don't have to take those out. So let's get to it. Just slide that on out. Slide that out. And get it out the way. Just like that. So now I got all my, my my mid pipe I need to take out. So I need to take out unbolt my mid pipe from my uh, from my header. My headers, the back, and then I'll be able to work with the muffler back and give me that much more room. So stay with me, let me get my get set up here to take this mid pipe out and uh move my my strength in the plate out the way so we can get at it. Alright. Alright guys, so I'm about to remove the, the flange bolts off the front of the mid pipe. So these are two 15 millimeters. Let me get over here so you can see. So these two bolts here. 15 millimeter, I already hit them with some CB, PB blaster to help loosen them up. Remember, this car is cold. Don't work on no exhaust with no hot ass exhaust unless you're trying to burn your shit up, burn your hands and all that shit up, which I'm not trying to do. My hands are already messed up, but I ain't about to, you know, make it even worse. But I already hit these with some PB blaster to help loosen them up. And, uh, Let's get these flange bolts off. I got my impact wrench and it's 15 millimeter. Let's get to it. PB Blaster. I mean, I ain't getting paid for this, but this some good shit. Just like that, the flange bolts is out. All right, guys, so I'm here at the rear of the, of the, uh, the vehicle at the mid pipe section, rear of the mid pipe. And uh, I'm gonna need to remove this, these two bolts to hold the clamp. Uh, then we have, as you can see here, we got the mid pipe clamps that holds the, that bolts too, that holds the uh, over their axle pipe, both sides. So we got two uh, 13s here and these are 15s that we need to loosen. And then we may remove the mid pipe section. Now my mid pipe, I've already deleted these secondary cats. Uh, <clears throat> so on your, uh, your mid pipe might be a little different than mine. You might still have the secondary cats. But on this, I've, and uh, previously I already had, I had to remove the, uh, replace my stock mid pipe, which uh, had the secondary cats on it. and I went with a boiler uh mid pipe so uh, let's get to it let's 
See that? It's falling right down. Probably gonna get my tool to do this shit. Which I will. I need to go get my deep socket. pipe I said that to the side now I'm uh, about to remove the electronic valves that's what open and close for you know your silent and your stealth mode and all that this is what does that the electronic valves that's the uh, NPP option so you want to disconnect this wiring harness you don't want to fuck up your wiring harness so make sure you remove these so it's just a matter of pulling this clip down there we go and then pushing down it's coming right off there you go. Move that out the way. And you want to repeat for the uh, passenger side. That out the way. Now, they say you should remove the, uh, if you got an automatic transmission, you should remove the uh, automatic transmission linkage so you can get that over the uh, over the axle pipe freely out without you know it, it without it being in the way and that they say it's easier to remove the uh over the over the axle pipe when you remove the transmission linkage so uh, i'm gonna set up my lighting because i can't really see it right now but um let me set up a light so i can show you the linkage i have an automatic by the way yeah, so that's the linkage right there you got the little white clip right there right here that needs to be removed that's going to give you a little bit more room mm -hmm. to uh <clears throat> to get this, you know, get this uh over the axle pipe out of All right, guys, so I'm going to have to remove these two 13-millimeter bolts that hold the two mufflers together prior to removing it. Two 13s that hold the two mufflers together. So remove those, and then I'm going to have two 15s on each side that hold the uh, the mounts. Let's see if I can focus in there. Yeah, these two. See the mounts there? Two 15s, one on each side, and there's another on the driver's side here. Move those, so let's get to it. So I'm gonna move the two 13s in the center first. Now Apologize for the noise. My neighbor decided they want to cut their grass in the middle of me recording, but we're gonna to try to get through it. So we've loosened the 
13 millimeter bolts here. 13 millimeter bolts. The two 13 in the center there. And now we should be able to get this muffler out over the axle pipe. Let's see if we can do it. So that's one down. See, now you're gonna have to get the back of your car but high as you can possibly get it. You know, most of you don't have a, a lift in your garage. I got the quick jacks and I had to use the tallest blocks that came with my quick jacks in order to get mine out from the rear. So Remember, you have to get your, if you ain't got a lift at home, you're gonna have to try to get your car up as high as you possibly can. Cause you're gonna need a little clearance to work that. If you got this stock, that uh, that over axle pipe there, you know, you're gonna need a lot of clearance to get that out. So, and also, uh, I got an automatic transmission, so I need to remove my uh, my shift linkage in order for my over the axle pipe to uh to come out on the driver's side i thought i could just you know disconnect the, the, the actual cable but i need to actually move the actual linkage uh in order to get my get it out on the driver's side so all right guys a little comparison you can see to the left is the stock exhaust and to the right is the boiler attack exhaust part number 11903 uh, right now, I need to remove the electronic valve here, which is held on by three uh, three eight millimeter bolts. I'll take that off and transfer that to the new exhaust. Okay, and then of course I need to take my mount, remove that, and transfer that to the new exhaust. So let's do that, and then of course I need to set up my over the uh, over the axle pipe. And uh, then that'll be ready to uh, go back into the vehicle. So, uh, it's a little bit, the muffler is a little bit smaller than the original one, but it should give me a way, get rid of that bobble sound from the stock. So, so let's get to it. These are plastic, so I would say take them, put them back on with like a, with an opening box in or, you know, don't use a power tube. You don't want to break the plastic.
Okay, that's back on. And we want to remove the mount. Get it right back on there. There we go. Repeat for the other side. So we'll be able to put it in the vehicle. We need to orient the overhead the pipe uh, and using the uh, clamp that's provided by boiler. So uh, let's try to orient this. Put the jacket on first, of course. Clamp on first. We'll have to deal with that. And you just try to orient it to the way it is on the stock one. Right there, I would say. Take the point. Take the clamp. And you just want to tighten it loosely. So I'm going to put it in the vehicle. We can adjust it to where we need it to be. So I'm just going to tighten this loosely. You know, just enough to snug it up. I get it in the car and then, you know, once we get it in there, we uh, just want to eyeball it for right now. And put that on there. And I'm just going to tighten it loosely here. So I just got that snug right there. So that's about, that's about right. All right, guys, we're back at the rear of the car. I got the right exhaust, right side exhaust, and you can see, right side, over axle pipe, everything installed, electronic valve, my hanger. So now we gotta get this in the back of the, put it back in the vehicle, same way we took it out. Now my over axle pipe is, is, is not too snug, it's just a little loose where I can maneuver it in. But again, you gotta get this car up as high as you can possibly get it. You know, I got the quick jacks. Never mind my big ass feet, but uh, I got the quick jacks, and uh, I should have on some goddamn shoes, but I'm I'm comfortable. Fuck it. But uh, I got the quick jacks, and I got the uh, tallest blocks that came with the quick jack on the rear, which gave me about another inch in the back. So, and that's about the highest I can get this car in my garage. So you are gonna need. I'm, I'm imagining if you're working at home, you don't have a, a lift, you're going to need about the same amount. So, because you're going to need to be able to damn near put them tips towards the your garage floor and then angle your over axle pipes up into the vehicle through that channel there to get it in. So, enough talking and let me go ahead and try to get this in. See if I can do it in one swoop. Let's see. Sit that there. Hope you guys can see. Uh, do the right side first. Okay. Let's do it. So I wouldn't lose them, so no shit get this. Don't take but a half second to lose the damn boat. Not in 
instructions call for two people, but shit, I ain't got two people. So I got the one. So, repeat, hook your wiring harness up, back to your electronic valves. Clip down. That's the right side, then repeat for the left side. So, stay tuned, let me get the left side, be right back. All right, guys, I got the left side here. You ready to start the left side back into the rear of the vehicle? So it's pretty much like the right side. Got to get that that tip of that those exhaust tips pretty much down towards the uh, garage floor. And then work your over axle pipe over that axle to get it to sit in this position. So let's see what we can do. I did the right side pretty straight without any uh, hassle. So let's see if I can do the left side. Sit my camera down here one second. All right, let's give it a go. Uh. Your swingers, your hangers, and uh, shit, get the line and shit up. situation I might have to see if I cleared that uh Okay. Just like I thought it was getting hung up on that transmission linkage. That's why you had to. There you go. 
you guys can see me. But that that over over axle pipe was getting caught up at that transmission linkage. So that's why you always get that's why they recommend you to remove that to get that clearance. So got to get it all lined up and go from there all right so now that i got the tips in exhaust in and over axle pipe is installed uh the next step is pretty much reverse all reverse everything put my mid pipe mid pipe and then the uh connect back to my flanges my uh, header flanges and then put my strengthening bracket back in and uh that'll be it and we'll uh, do a cold start to see how she sound. But for right now, let's go ahead and get the mid pipe put in and uh, just get this thing done. So, the best way to put your mid pipe in is definitely want to put your outlets in first. And then your front pipe. Put the uh, back into the header. So, connect your outlets first. And that's why you want to leave your. put my bolts back in where they come from so I won't lose them. So, pretty straightforward. Just take it off, put it back in the, in the same order you took them off. Get make sure you have your clamps in. Got my clamps, and then just tighten them down. Boom, but not here just yet. Just want to get this in. Now I go up here and put my front flanges in. And that'll be that. Yeah, I know. They say you can use two people, but I ain't got two people, goddammit. So, gotta do what you gotta do. Shit. So, now I just hook up my front flanges. Don't tighten these down until you get your flange 
your front flange is screwed in, and then that's gonna put it in about the position where it need, everything needs to be. So, <clears throat> let me put the front flanges in, and uh, we can tighten everything down. Okay. All right, I got my boat started. I'll just get my 15 and uh go from there. So let me grab my 15 and uh type my front front flange and then I'll type my clamps in the back, all my, my hangers and all that. Then I put my strengthening brace across here and then shit, it's pretty much a done deal. We'll be ready for a cold start here in a minute. We'll be right back. Do my flanges. Now my flange box is a 15, so
Right. Okay. All right, so now that I got my flanges in, I can go around. My exhaust should be, my over the axle pipe should be where they need to be. And I can go ahead and tighten these down along with my hanger. But, uh, <clears throat> yep. So my over the axle, my over the axle clamps is a uh, 15, so. Try to get them up out the way. And once you get done, uh, you torque these down to 35 foot pounds. Thirty-five foot pounds. Then tighten up my my hanger here, and then everything should be back in, in order. As far as that is concerned, that's a thirteen. So let me grab my thirteen here. So torque your clamp bolts down. Your clamps here to thirty-five foot pound. Tighten your hanger. Torque your flange bolts to uh, 35 foot pounds. And last thing to do is to uh, put my strengthening brace back and then we can adjust the tips. So I don't think you really need to care about seeing me putting the strengthening bracket back. You know, that's pretty uh, straightforward. Put it back the same way you took it off. So <clears throat> I'm not gonna show that on camera. Be putting that back. Uh, so let me get this all buttoned up here and then we'll get back and adjust the tips and go from there. All right. All right, guys. I'm gonna put it back together. This is back together. <clears throat> As you remember, I switched out my stock exhaust for a boiler attack exhaust. Uh, <clears throat> everything's buttoned up. My diffuser, rear diffuser's back on. So, this will be the first cold start since I put it back together. Let's see how she sounds.
Had to cut that motherfucker off, goddamn. But straightforward job. Remember now, my setup, you know, I already had my mid pipe uh, sec secondary catch deleted. So I had the boiler uh, mid pipe and the boiler attack exhaust. Uh, considerable uh, difference between the, the stock mufflers and the boiler attack exhaust. So uh, plan on about, shit, I would say four hours. It's about a four hour job. I did it all myself, even though they recommend that you have a partner or assistant to uh, help you do this job but shit i ain't got nobody so i had to do do a solo uh but that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed the video and uh till the next one peace